channel it is Nikki here so today I have a different kind of video I've got a video that is more of a testing video but just like a one product sort of test I haven't really done I don't think I've done anything like this on my channel so if you do enjoy this video subscribe and let me know down below if you do but let's just get into it I'm actually going to be testing out the Barry M liquid chrome highlighter drops I've got two here the reason why I've got these is because I went crazy for like the um, iconic London illuminator drops I know you guys have probably seen them, then they brought out more shades in it for um, a deeper skin tone, a fairer skin tone, which I thought was really cool, but they took a while to come out with it. I love these, I do like it, it is quite strong for me, so it's not like a daily use, but it's all over Instagram, the Iconic London Drops, amazing, they have an amazing shine to them as well, but Barry and I have come out with some, so I was like, oh my gosh, and they are so affordable compared to the Iconic London ones, I can't remember, but the Iconic London Drops are quite expensive I'm not gonna lie I, um, I um, didn't add it but the very ones were around $6.99 so I thought they were really affordable I grabbed these two I believe they do a range of I think five different colors and they've got like a kind of purplish alienish kind of color which is really cool as well but I've just picked up the gold ones for everyday use so we're gonna try them out together okay so just at a first glance what I can say about these is that I can see like shimmer in them so when you kind of move them in the light you can sort of see the glitter flex so I don't know if that's going to be like a good thing or if it's going to make me look glittery overall I have got the shades the lighter one is called beam me up and then I have got the darker one as well which is called liquid fortune that is the one I think this was the last one in Superdrug. they do sell them in Superdrug. I'm not too sure about boots that's where I got them from and I was thinking that I just wanted to kind of mix the two to see what color I would get overall I also just quickly wanted to point out I don't know this says use on its own for an intensely radiant highlighting effect or add drops to your favorite foundation. So kind of just like um, the iconic London drops. It also says shake well. So I'm going to shake it well. Um, but when I have just kind of opened it to see, it's a lot thicker. Like the consistency is a lot, lot thicker than the iconic London drops. Don't know how I feel about that. And I guess this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. On the back of my hand, like it looks really nice. It's coming out a little bit thick, but I'm getting that sheen to it. Okay, so I can see straight off, the, I don't even know why I would put it here, because it's, I should put it like there, shouldn't I? But I put it here, I can see straight off the bat that Liquid Fortune is gonna be, it's gonna be a lot better for me than um, Beam Me Up, because Beam Me Up's a lot more piercing. So I would say like Beam Me Up's like my Laura Geller, where I just want like that pop. And then this is like my Tonya Burr warm bronze, you know, like I can kind of wear it everywhere. So I'm going to actually start off with Liquid Fortune. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it and then blend it out straight away because I do find that with the Iconic London Drops, they can start to um, kind of gather. And I'm scared. I want to give it a fair chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it on and then we're going to blend it out. Listen, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit skeptical because I've just kind of tried to wipe wipe it off and I feel like my hand looks like old does it like I don't know like it looks a bit old where like the shim has been left or I don't know so I don't really know how this is gonna go down okay so I'm gonna go in with Barry M's liquid chrome in liquid fortune I don't know why I forgot that because I've been talking about it all this time and I'm gonna take the MAC 132 brush what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this straight on to just the cheekbone straight off the bat and then try and blend it out with this brush okay so that has blended out so nicely i'm shocked i am sure that if you let that sit and you want to do all of the highlight and then you want to blend it out it wouldn't it probably congeal because the iconic london illuminator drops do that to me all the time so i'm pretty sure it's same in consistency but if you put it on and then you blend it out straight away you get such a nice nice um such a nice nice you get such a nice natural highlight I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is just a really nice sort of dew, which I really like. It makes you look wet, but it doesn't make you look sweaty, which I really, really appreciate. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on to do the other cheek. I don't have any tactics. I kind of don't use the dropper applicator either. I just kind of, well, I don't like squeeze it on or anything. I think I've got it in my hair. Meh. So 
such a beautiful product to work with. I wouldn't recommend you guys putting any powders or anything on what I have got on. I've, I've got on um, just a cream contour and I've got no powder on whatsoever on my skin. So that's why I would probably do my bronzer. I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer afterwards to show you guys the finished result. But I think cream contour is fine. Like you can kind of see it there. Um, but no powder because it would probably congeal. It is a liquid, so you just need to be careful about that. Now I'm just going to add a little bit to my brush just to apply it in a different way. And I'm going to apply this to my nose area and my cupid's bow and a little bit to my forehead as well to see how it applies this way. Okay, so what I did learn about that is if you let it sit, if you, like what I said earlier, if you let the product sit, it does kind of tend to stick to your skin and there's no moving it so I feel like it just sets really quickly and you'd have to work with it really fast even when I applied it like that it just kind of like it needed a little bit more blending because I felt like it was setting that could be something to do with the consistency because it's not as it's not as watery as the iconic London drops because it does seem to set a little bit quicker but if you work with it straight away you're gonna get a really nice kind of just dewy skin all over Okay, just because I don't want to try beam me up on my face because it is quite a piercing one. I'm actually going to try it. I don't even have collarbones, but we're going to pretend that we've got collarbones. And I'm just going to try it on my collarbones to see what that looks like. So I'm just going to apply the dropper applicator just like I did on my face. Apply it to my collarbones and then use a bigger brush just to blend that out to see if it really makes them pop. So I definitely think that this one is nice, but I think it's nice where it's sitting here. I just feel like if I was to put it on my face, it might be a little bit too much. And also because my face is actually a little bit more tan than my chest area, I don't think it would take as well as a Liquid Fortune, just because the Liquid Fortune is a little bit darker. But I do like that. This one reminds me a lot more of the Iconic London Drops, probably because it's lighter and you can kind of like, it doesn't look sweaty, but it looks, it looks really nice actually. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to keep the top like this because I actually prefer it. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place. I'm going to now just bronze up my skin to see if this takes well to a powder going on top. Sometimes liquids don't like it. So we're just going to take the BH Contour Palette. And I like to take a mix of these two browns right here as bronzer. Just taking it onto my BH Cosmetics number 2 brush. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin. So that has taken to the bronzer so nicely. I am going to tell you, yes, I do prefer it to the Iconic London Drops. Just because it is so natural, it literally looks like a dew from within and I don't personally think that I look sweaty. I really like dewy skin, I think it looks really nice probably because I've got more of a drier dehydrated skin type. For you girls that are probably oily, don't possibly want to look shiny because you feel like you produce oil and you're trying to constantly look matte. I feel like that with a lot of girls that do have oily skin, not all because I know some girls that do like, do like a dewy skin, but I feel like if you are someone that wants a dewy skin, but you don't want no glitter flex, you don't want any kind of um, chunks of glitter, you just want a sheen and you want it to look like it's your skin from within and your skin looks fresh, then these bad boys are absolutely incredible. Like you need to get them. So that is it guys for this Barium testing video. If you like videos like this, it's just very quick. I'm thinking about doing just short, quick videos that I can sort of add in into the week just to show you guys what is probably new, what is trending, what is a good dupe of what. Let me know if that is something of interest to you guys because I don't know if you prefer like long videos or shorter videos. I'm thinking this, I'm not obviously not edited this because I'm sitting here filming it right now, but I'm thinking that it's probably not even gonna be like longer than two or three minutes so i hope you guys enjoy it i did want to test it out with you guys it was the first time i would recommend these if you hadn't guessed already in my like from what i was saying but i would recommend them i would just say they are a little bit thicker but i think if you don't want to get the iconic london ones and i don't know like where else do them i know that um like nars do liquid illuminators i think a couple of other brands do liquid illuminators i know maybelline do one as well but they're like squeezy tube ones this one, like the Barry one, looks very, very similar to the Iconic London one with like the dropper applicator. So if you are thinking of getting the Iconic London, but you don't want to splurge out because it is expensive, then try the Barry M. Honestly, if you are tan, get Liquid Fortune. If you are a little bit lighter, get Beam Me Up. But maybe try the testers that they've got there in Superdrug, just on the back of your hand to see what would suit you best. But I would definitely recommend them. So that is it, guys, for this testing video. Leave me all your comments down below, all your opinions, constructive criticism. It is always welcome as well. Let's have a conversation down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the 
bell. I don't really know what that I think that's like notifications. You get notifications. So if you want notifications from me, if you don't, that's cool. But if you do, then just hit that bell or click on that bell down below. And that is it. I have nothing else to report. I will see you in my next video. I love you guys so very much. Mwah. When I feel what I feel, sometimes it's hard to tell you so.